Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously and help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Earthrise Double Dealer. And this set includes four decal sheets, three on vinyl backing, these feather decals, and one on foil. So now, without further ado, Let's take a look at Double Dealer, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Double Dealer looks great. He's got lots of great paint applications and sculpted details. Taking a closer look at the figure, he's got a great face sculpt with some evil painted red eyes right there. Purple paint applications here on the chest. There's some turquoise right there in those little triangles along with some red. Now, of course, Double Dealer can switch factions. He's got a Decepticon logo here and an Autobot. And all you have to do, of course, you know this, you just flip these flaps over. The up outer flap has a Decepticon insignia and... The inside has the Autobot. Moving on down, Double Dealer has purple paint applications right there on the thighs. The shins have blue and silver along with some yellow decals. And there is some red that is the missile truck's windows. There's also some silver down here on the ankles and a little bit of gray on the feet. Double Dealer also has some gray right there on his sensor array. So there you go, guys. There is one final look at Double Dealer in robot mode before and after. Double Dealer gets quite a few decals to help enhance the paint applications that he already has. Starting off with right here on the chest, he trades in the purple for more of a turquoise green, which is very G1 reminiscent. He also gets new decals right there in the triangles. You can probably see the light catching those. He has new mercenary faction decals. Now, he only came with two. So what I did is I put a faction decal right there on this flap and another one here on the inside. That way he's a, he'll always have his mercenary logo showing no matter if he's Autobot or Decepticon. He also gets new yellow decals up here. De new decals right there on the stomach. New blue and chrome decals here on the thigh. New decals right there on the shins. Down here, new blue and yellow decals. Also, silver toe decals. Also, he has new red decals there for the windows of his vehicle mode. And he gets this neat purple grid for his sensor array. So there you go, guys. One final look at Double Dealer in robot mode after. In missile truck mode, straight out of the packaging, Double Dealer has a lot of paint applications to show off. Starting up here on the missile, we've got some red and blue. There's some gray right there on the sensor array. Here on top, we've got some purple with some red and turquoise. The front of the vehicle has quite a few red windows, so that looks really, really good. Plus, he's got blue paint applications right here, along with some silver and yellow silver paint there and there and that's pretty much it he also has this gray launch platform back here so you can put those struts out and now you can launch double dealers missile so there you go guys there is one final look at double dealer in missile truck mode before and after. Double Dealer gets quite a few new decals to help enhance his missile truck mode. Starting right here on top, he's got a new purple decal on his sensor array. New greenish decals right there on top. You can see the new decals right there in those little triangles. 
Here on the front of the vehicle, he gets brand new window decals and an extra window right there. So that looks really, really good. New decals right here and here that kind of make it look like he has hatches. <clears throat> new headlight decals. Along the side, he gets a new silver decal right there. New silver decal here and here. And then on the back of the vehicle, when you fold down the launcher ramp, a lot of new decals that really make that pop. Of course, that's going to be utilized more in vulture mode. So there you go, guys. One final look at double dealer in missile truck mode after. In vulture mode, straight out of the packaging, double dealer looks great. He's got tons of sculpted details, though not many paint applications. The paint applications he does have are a little bit of yellow right there on the chest and some that carry over from vehicle mode. But for this mode, it is all about the sculpted detail and it looks amazing, especially here on the wings. That looks great. And the sculpted detail is both here on the front of the wing and the back. And there's more sculpted detail here on the back of the vulture mode, moving on down to the ramp, which now forms Double Dealer's tail feathers. Closer look at the vulture head, more great sculpted details, and he's got some dead black eyes. So there you go, guys. There is one final look at Double Dealer in vulture mode before and after. And this mode right here is where this Toy Hex decal shines. And as you can see, he gets tons of new decals here on his feathers and they look amazing, both front and the back. And man, let me tell you what, those are a challenge to put on, but they look fantastic. He also gets new decals here on the back. You got these black and red decals here, chrome decals there, new purple, red, and yellow decals there. Moving on down to the tail feathers, you get actual feather decals here on the side, more purple with kind of a honeycomb look and a purple decal right there also on the wings you get these decals here that cover up the chrome pins along with little decals here that cover those chrome pins as well taking a closer look at double dealer's head now the dead black eyes have now been replaced with these awesome red eyes i love it he looks so evil and now the front he has a crest so Toy Hex, you definitely outdid yourself on Double Dealer's Vulture Mode. So there you go, guys. One final look at Double Dealer's Vulture Mode after. <laughs> Toy Hex, once again, knocks it out of the park with their decal set for Earthrise Double Dealer. Lots of new details really add to this figure, especially in Vulture Mode. Vulture Mode is where this decal set shines. Now... As I said, it's a challenge to put on, but man, the end results are so worth it. You almost wish you had another double dealer to display in robot and vulture mode. And fortunately for me, I have an Ollie's close by that actually had some double dealers in stock this week. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!